All right, Coach, well, what can we expect from South Adams in 2011? I think, first of all, when you look at us, we're going to be a team who competes. Um, we've talked a lot about our senior class that we have at South Adams and how excited we are for this senior class. Uh, it's a group that we've been waiting for. Uh, it's a large group. Uh, it's a group that has a lot of chemistry with each other. It's a group that you can tell likes to be around each other. They like playing with each other. Um, they're, just, they're a fun group to have. Um, I think that's going to help bring in a lot of performance and hopefully that performance can meet some of the expectations that this group has, uh, that the coaches have, and that some of the fans here around South Adams have. And this is your second year down here or uh, third this year? My, this will start my fourth year. Well, there you go. <laughs> Forgive my ignorance. So now you've, you've been here kind of long enough yeah. to kind of put your program in place. Yeah. Is it is now is, you can see it kind of catching on? Yeah, and this is as we got as we've been here now for the fourth year, and this is kind of the group that we had targeted to say, hey, they'll they'll have their whole high school career with us, and let's make our mark with them. Uh, it's a group that has a lot of talent that we can build around. Uh, we have a lot of skill places and pieces in place that we feel that we can take advantage of this year. Um, we have a very strong group of running backs, uh, senior running backs. Uh, we have Dustin back at quarterback uh, for his second year running this offense, um, which will really give us a big benefit this year. I think last year we started off a little slow just due to the fact that we hadn't really experienced option football before. Um, we've got a, a core group of wide receivers who are seniors that we can think we can take advantage of, and we've got seniors on the offensive line who got experience last year too. So um, you got to be excited when you can pencil in starters at different spots and you look out there and you have nine to ten seniors on offense. And then you turn around and still can have eight or nine on defense too. So um, you know, as a football team, that your scene is at that your season and your and your team. Uh, usually is as strong as your senior group and your seniors will take you and I hope that's the case with our football team. How many starters do you return on both sides? Um, without having it in front of me I would say we have about six or seven on offense who come back and about five or six on defense who come back from last year. Um, a lot of guys who maybe weren't technically classified as starters we got a lot of reps come back also. So we definitely feel that we have an experienced group and hopefully that experience and some of the lessons they got through both parts of our season last year pay off, whether it was the losing end in the first five games, or hopefully we can build off of the winning end of the last six games. Yeah, um, was there something happened that made everybody kind of turn things around after that 0-5 start? Well, I think we just grew up a little bit. We started the la year last year, uh, first of all, with a new offense. Uh, we had been in the I formation for my first two years, and evaluating our program, evaluating the talent we had and the talent we had coming up, we thought we were better suited to run more of an option-style attack. Um, and I think it took us a while to get used to it. Uh, we were making reads we never had to make before. We were doing things that we never had to do before, and we were asking the kids to do a skill set they hadn't worked on in two years. And I think that was part of it. And I think also the fact that we were starting so many juniors at that point in the season, uh, guys who were starting their very first varsity game, and not only do you have the things that go wrong with first-year starters, but you have guys who aren't really as comfortable with the system as what they needed to. Um, by the time we got to week five, we decided to simplify things a little bit. We cut some things out of the playbook. I think that was one of the things that fell on the coaches. We were just trying to do too much with our offense too soon. And once we started simplifying things, our guys got a little bit of confidence. They had five games under their belt. And they got a little bit of uh, they got a little bit of success, um, and it was able to breed some confidence in them. And they started playing well. As everybody knows, the more confident you are in something, the better prepared you are for something, the better results you're going to have with it. And I think that's really what happened. I think we just physically grew up a little bit, and I think we just got some confidence. And that confidence hopefully can carry over to this year with those guys who started last year. Are you seeing that confidence here in the early part of practice? Oh, absolutely. Um, this is a group, and Cole and Dustin, I'm sure, have talked about that too. Uh, this is a group who expects to win. It's a group who had success coming up through the ranks, and it's a group who, like we said last year, got uh, a lot of success under their belt late in the season. And they've come into this off season and they've come into camp here very mo uh, motivated, uh, very driven, um, and I couldn't be happier with how our camp has gone. Uh, we've been pretty crisp. Uh, it's been pretty physical. Uh, the guys have had fun flying around, uh, and they provided a lot of leadership for the younger guys, and hopefully a lot of, uh, hopefully a lot of, motivation for them, but also a lot of just providing the example and setting the tone of, of how we expect our kids to work.